In this fourth episode of the AIM Doctors, we're gonna take a look at a Platinum DPS player who played Overwatch since the beta, basically before even comp game existed. He has a lot of bad AIM habits and hopefully the AIM Doctors can save him. So let's get into it. Okay, so what I'm seeing, I think he has a lot of, um, well, how would you say, kind of like inefficiencies. So look at how much his mouse, his crosshair moves around. Hmm. So look here. So we're on a Sigma. This all makes sense. I mean, why... We moved our crosshair to the right and then back to the target. Right. I don't, when it's just completely unnecessary, we're just adding extra difficulty. We're already perfect with crosshair. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, well, not perfect because we're not on the head, but mm -hmm. you know what I mean. But like we're we're actually on the target, but um, yeah, we we're on target to the right. Yeah. Yeah. But what's also weird is it's not like we over aimed and took a shot. We just aim to the right, then back to the mm -hmm. target. Okay, interesting. Interesting case, like I said, yeah. And I think we see something similar again. Well, look at how much we're moving our crosshair around after the shot. Mm. It's like every time we click, boom. <laughs> it's like it's like we're holding a real rifle, and it's just knocking our shoulder back. No, oh, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. So clearly, he did not uh, do this properly. So, he has a correct prediction. Oh, the Mercy wants to fly across. But it's way too difficult to aim over here. And even here, like, we can lead all the way to over here to give us the most time to react. Yeah, okay. and we had to do a two-step motion anyways. So, we could have. Yep. it could have just been one step. Ah. I think this is also a great example. Uh, look here. Right now he's aiming at the taxi, which isn't good. But look at this angle. That's impossible. <laughs> mm -hmm. Even for lip. And he doesn't end up using it anyways. Mm -hmm. And even here, he was holding tight. He sees the ones that jump out. This is the easiest target to hit peeking. And we mm -hmm. still have to... Uh, he has to like flick a little bit to lead. Mm -hmm. He's ADHD a little aim. bit. With, with this aim. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely get that feeling. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was great, though. <laughs> yeah. Very ADHD. Yeah, Hmm. Bad prediction here. Like, I mean, I understand getting baited by the roll, but mm -hmm. it's not reasonable to think the casting wants to cross. Okay. Uh, can we watch other other maps, or yeah, maybe like a Cassidy or uh, Ash? Yeah. Hmm. So I think this goes back to the concept I've talked about with um, the more unstable your crosshair is, I think the harder it is to tell where you are. Like it's kind of with how erratic he is, right? It's like hard to even tell how accurate he is and how close he is. Right. Our crosshair awareness is going to naturally be off. See, look at that. Flick, move to the right. To right, all these inefficiencies. It's very unsmooth and erratic. All right. Now, Lip was doing that some with purpose, right? Like, click, then flick to where the target's the gonna lead. move. The, the pre predicting, yeah. right? Okay, I, I think that's a great yeah. point. I think that's a great, great point. Yeah. Because even at this point, so we talk about constantly updating our crosshair, but in this situation, even not moving our crosshair at all, I think, would be a little bit better because we would have a better, I think, vision of where we need to adjust our crosshair to next. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Oh, great example. Let's take a look. No, we're, we're across is already on target, but we're moving it off. Yep. Hmm. Very well. Okay, so for first shot, first of all, he overreacts to the on a peaking. Like, he's already leading his crosshair. So the whole point of leading is that they're going to walk into it. It gives us time to react. You can watch that again. The, the leading part. Yeah. yeah. So we're leading a bit, which is good. Mm -hmm. So by the time the honest to across there, we're ready to react. Mm -hmm. But instead, we move here. Yeah, exactly. Yep. That's we're good. making the wrong... Instead of using the extra time, because clearly his reaction is quick, but we should be using that time to line up our crosshair for the wait and click, mm -hmm. like to do any fine adjustments. Instead, we're using that time very inefficiently by moving it around. Right. Very simple. Yeah, we're not keeping our crosshair on the target. We're just moving it off for no reason. Mm -hmm. after, even after we hit our shot, over flicking to the left. Yeah, it kind of hurts my eyes. Oh! And I mean that in a literal sense. Like, uh... The shaking back and forth. Yeah. It's very... Um, can, can you watch that in slow-mo? Yeah, like, so, uh, that's... Uh, I want to show um, the students how, like, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. So, shot, then... Shot, oh, yeah. and then... Mm. Interesting. Yep. Yeah, I wonder... Yeah. It's a really Something bad habit. What... Constant, constant habit. Yeah, even here we're pulling away. Yeah, we're constantly pulling away from the target. It's like the the opposite of the aim philosophy distance, aim distance uh philosophy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Not isolating and not exactly preaming somewhere. Initially. Mm, yeah. Very ADHD, like you said. He's constantly moving around. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep. We're seeing the same thing. So understandable. Flick shot on his end because she's mm -hmm. he's about to be behind about cover. About to, yeah, hide. Yeah. Good. Then we position the aim at the doom. So so far, so. So good. Oh, but like, why are we moving back to the, the right yeah. side? Yeah. Yeah. Again. Yeah. And again. It's 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 always the right side too. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. I love how long he's held this angle with one ammo. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> his most important shot. Okay, so what will be the summary for his aim? So he really has a bad habit of um, constantly um, creating more aim distance after the shot by flicking away from the target for no good reason for the most part. Yeah. So I'll say just his, his shot motion is broken, right? You normally have a the flick, and then you stop and click at the same time. But he flick, clicks, and keeps going, and more to the right. So, yeah, just bad habit to break. Uh, the other summary is that kind of overshadowed everything, to be honest. Because that effect is tracking as well. Mm. Because we, cause you can't really have good, good tracking if you constantly have that hitch in your shot. So the, really, so, the first thing is going to be fixing is a bad habit to start. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. This was very interesting, uh, student. So 
That's it. As we're doing a coaching session with him, we noticed his raw and mechanics were not bad at all. And he messaged me the next day saying, it's a little early to say, since it's been only a day after the coaching, so it can be just luck. But he already feels much better. And here's the change. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the content and if you want to learn more from me, you can visit my website. Now I'm offering one on one coaching, and my Tracer course is available in English as well. And my Korean lectures just got huge updates. So if you're interested, you can check out the link below and see you next time.